sure if she wouldn't mind giving us some time to just tie it all up and teach us a few more things that, um, that I have learned underneath her. Because ladies, when we invest in ourselves, the world gets better, our families get better, we get better. And, um, and you just begin just showing up in that lovely way of believing in yourself when you come out and how you present yourself. So we are getting a huge treat to get Kim Peterson here. So please, without further ado, please. To champion means to fight for. It means to be an advocate for, advocate for. And I would suggest that nobody is gonna fight for the authentic truth and freedom of your brand or your business more than you. So come along with me today and we'll see how we can do that. The benefit 
minutes really quickly. This again will help you differentiate yourself in the marketplace. It will help you attract more of the right clients as you can articulate the value of who you are and what you do. You will be guided if you harness your personal brand and you step into the authentic truth of who you are. You will be guided by your vision, your values, your mindset, and your purpose so that you attract greater success with greater ease. Clearly, like these ladies today, your confidence will be increased, no doubt. You will live more empowered, as Jill said, and you will definitely increase your bottom line. Melinda Slater here is an interior designer. You might know her. Um, your personal brand experience, the experience of you is communicated through the way you speak, the way you act, the way you look, and the way you live. And we'll unpack that a little bit more as we go down the line. <laughs> go ahead and laugh. Everybody's fine. <laughs> 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 I mean, Jill, lead it. <laughs> With a robust sense of laughter. Thank you. I love this picture. It reminds me to tell you why I'm in the business because I forget sometimes. But here's why I'm in the business. Here's who I am at 13 years old. Um, and what I learned at a very young age is I was unworthy. I was unlovable. I did not belong. I didn't even belong in my family. I was adopted when I was uh, an infant. And then uh, when my parents divorced at six years old, my dad took the other kids and I was left behind. I, I had, there were five of us and all of a sudden I'm suddenly an only child. So by the time I was six years old, I learned that there's been something inherently wrong with me. I am not lovable. I was heavily judged and teased. Why? Well, because number one, I didn't deal with my emotions, so I ate my emotions. I put on a little extra weight and people at the schoolyard would make fun of me. Uh, I was black in a white family in a white community. I never fit in there as well. And P.S. I grew up in condemned housing. Stepping on slugs in the night. How many of you were judged on the, on the playground? Anyone? Yeah. Well, here's what I want you to know. This is why consciously connecting back to the truth of who you are is so important because it doesn't matter that I look like this today, right? Because who that little girl is is who this woman is unless I get a conscious connection and challenge the limiting beliefs about who I think I am and challenge the truth of who I was created to be. I was not enough and I was a freak in my own mind. And I don't know if any of you know what being a freak in your own mind is, but you're constantly going. Am I okay? Am I lovable? Where's the exit? No, I'm not gonna go with you. I can't, I can't. Am I good enough? Am I worthy? Well, guess what? Challenge the limiting beliefs of your own story and champion the truth. What I want you to know is you are worthy. What I want you to know is you are lovable whether your husband is telling you that whether your partner is telling you that, you are loved with an everlasting love. And you know what? As, as it relates to where, where do you belong, when you can feel comfortable and confident in your own skin, then you belong. You belong with you. And when you do that, ladies, you have more to give out in business to your clients and to your community. You are enough. This leads me to tip number one, which is I'm inviting you to consciously connect with the truth of your story. Consciously connect with the truth of your story. And in that, I'm asking you to mine your skills and your talents and your abilities. I'm asking you to define your visions and your values. Because your values are what's gonna guide you in life. Your looks are gonna guide you in life. And again, challenge your limiting beliefs and champion the truth of who you are. Aaron Knight. So before Aaron, you, you can stand if you will. Let's just celebrate Aaron. It's a celebration. It is a celebration. Before Aaron uh, had her makeover, she was in my workshop where she did this work and, and she dove in and she did answer the questions, vision, values, challenging her limiting beliefs. And here's what she said. I'm going to hop over here really quick so I can see it. She said, I learned confidence about my brand does not start with what I am wearing or how I am looking. It has to start with an inner confidence about my ability to be a problem solver, a teacher, and, a, and provide an outstanding streamlined experience for every customer. I was also surprised to look back 
and realize that as a child, I love to share my energy, my ideas and passion for life. I danced, I entertained, and I spoke my mind. But over time, I learned that to be good, I needed to sit still and be quiet. And now I've become known as rather a reserved or timid person. Talk about a breakthrough, mm -hmm. she writes. Talk about a breakthrough. Let me tell you, I have chills all up and down my body right now. I've been in business for 16 years, and this is in the top three mm -hmm. all-time stories. Because she took ownership of who she was, she chose to take the risk and dive deep back to her story, and she said, oh my gosh, that's who I was. That's who I was. And that's what I want to reclaim and step back into. And then look at the beautiful outcome that they created stylistically. Does that not give you chills? I want that for you. Tip number two, define your personal brand identity. Don't make it up, define it, search for it, unveil it, unearth it. In this uh, scenario, I say, look at your skills and your talents, yes, but then get after your values, get after your vision, get after your mindset. Yes, indeed, your style preferences as well. But then the question marks, what do you want to reconnect to? What's lost from your story? Ah, chill. You can stand. Give her a hand. <laughs> in on a workshop where she took the workshop, she owned the workshop, and she's on a fire post workshop. It's really more like it. But she got out of what I do and better at serving my clients. Mm -hmm. You or women you know struggle with back, neck, or hip pain? As your holistic health advocate, I deliver freedom from chronic pain and the joy that comes with, as one of my clients said, getting my life back. Instead of chasing symptoms, I look at the whole picture to get at the root cause of your pain. My comprehensive process includes personalized education and, um, and uh, sorry, this is brand new to me. So, <laughs> and we make mistakes, right? But personalized education and treatment so that you experience the lasting results and really feel empowered in knowing how to take care of your own body. And the, uh, you make me nervous. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not you, teaching you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm easy. <laughs> well, I'm the winning combination of methods I use include yoga and the key ingredient called structural integration body work, which simply means, <laughs> which simply means a way to realign your body for lasting change. Awesome. Yeah. Gorgeous long cobalt 
fitted out with dress so good. Mm -hmm. and then a long to the floor, to, oh. to the floor and then a long cape cobalt mm -hmm. um embellished it was everything and, the and shoes and, the and, the shoes. Shoes. Oh. and she was owning her brand she was owning her brand yes. i heard the whispers in the background and they were on it <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, she's a center a center no doubt uh, our own uh, Diana, uh, she's a marketing and branding consultant, and part of who she is is creative, natural, and approachable. Mm -hmm. And so we just had a consultation a couple days ago, and there was a fun photo she sent right over, and I thought, wow, look at you stepping into the truth of who you are. Awesome, I love it. Here's a tip for you. You don't have to buy everything high-end and designer. You know, mix high-low, right? Uh, revolve, consignment, great. Um, this client here, Oh, I love this story. Probably the best shopping story of my career. Uh, so we shopped for three hours and created this completely branded, based on her color, her body shape, everything wardrobe. Uh, and she got 41 mix and match pieces. 41 mix and match pieces for $650. Oh, wow. Yeah. Don't let money or a poverty mindset get in the way of you investing in yourself. There are always ways to make your visions a reality. I took number five, Cindy Cameron. Yay. Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Cindy Cameron. We gleaned and learned a ton from her uh, a couple weeks ago. And Cindy and I, gosh, have worked together several times over the years and it was so fun to get an email from her with this info in it. She said, thank you so much, Kim. By dressing better, I have increased my income several fold and enjoy my life even more than I thought was possible. That's pretty powerful. Since working with you, I've been able to connect with my style and purposefully dress to me each day. You're an amazing teacher and inspire me to look my best. And thank you. Thank you. Humbled by that. You inspire me. Mm -hmm. I want to be you. <laughs> I want your money. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Top of the list. <laughs> <laughs> she said it. <laughs> Claim it. Claim it. Tip number six is all about living your brand out loud. And again, your brand is your authentic identity, your skills, your talents, your abilities, your passions, your vision. How you communicate that brand is through the way you speak, act, look and live with clarity, consistency, and constancy. Great case study, here we go. This is Sandy Tampa, she is a Windermere agent. Um, we, gosh, got clear on her brand, we went shopping after we did her colors, after we were in her closet, we created a strategy and we brought it all together. Let me tell you, this woman speaks a reflection of her brand. She acts as a reflection of her brand, and she aligns her time and her energy and her opportunities with the people she really wants to serve. She has learned the value of saying no to the things that don't align. And she's learned the value of saying yes to the things that do and making space for that. And that's what happens when you get clear with your identity and your vision and your values. Look is not just about how you look, by the way, but this is, if you are your brand, my philosophy is that this is your brand packaging. Mm -hmm. This is your brand packaging. So the question is, does the language of your look accurately reflect your brand? And if not, no shame, but what might you add, change, modify, or create? By the way, you got a great compliment the other day. Someone says, I love Alicia's style. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love it, stand for the ladies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to achieve a 40% increase as a realtor, and she did it. Mm -hmm. She did it. Not only that, in 2015, she had another 40% increase 
as a realtor, I want her money. <laughs> Let's just be honest. This is the value of consciously connecting to who you are, getting clear with how you can articulate your value so that you attract the clients you want, so that your personal brand is your compass to guide you, not only in business but in life, so that you achieve more success with greater ease. This is what I want for you too. Tip number seven, invest in professional development. There's all sorts of people who can support you and pour into you in this room. I do wanna let you know that upcoming I have a workshop on uh, the 26th and it's a personal branding workshop. Lacey, Lacey Jane, yeah. I love to say her name. Lacey Jane, why don't you hop up? This, yeah, this is Lacey Jane and I'm gonna tell her. Workshop with Erin it was a great team she said I took the branding workshop and here are my outcomes one I received clarity on my personal brand identity two I learned how to translate my brand into attributes and a statement of style and three I increased my confidence as I got clarity on my passion vision and values and this is Lacey's before she's in transition she she would um, say right yeah, absolutely. Lots of things changing. Divorce, uh, started a business in September. So stepping out on my own. Mm -hmm. Lots of changes. Lots of changes. Yeah. And look at her now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Personal brand, style, and identity. 
Thank you so much.